Hello everyone, I'm Rodney for 3GameMan.com and today I'm looking at the Rocket Tyon Gaming Mouse. If you're wondering why I'm talking like that, just watch one of Rocket's videos and you will know why. The box is glorious. Rocket spends a lot of time and money into designing these boxes. Pretty special, lots of pictures, features and specifications. And look at that. You can even try it on. Great! if you're picking it up in store, and that's how I would recommend you purchase a mouse. Go ahead, go in, and try it on, because if you don't, if it doesn't fit your hand, it's not going to work for you at all. So that's a good thing. It's really easy to unbox, just cut one security seal on the bottom and slide it out. They include a quick installation guide and the mouse which is sandwiched between two pieces of plastic, so it's not going to go anywhere. This is a very unique looking mouse that has some odd button placements and the paddle. I'll go over that and more, plus have a closer look at it. But first, let's get the specifications out of the way. It comes with an outstanding Pro-Aim Laser Sensor R3 up to 8,200 dpi. The polling rate is 1,000, the response time is 1 milliseconds. As for frames per second, it is 12,000, or megapixels, 10.8. Acceleration is 30 G's. It's capable of 3.8 meters per second or 150 IPS. It has a 16-bit data channel. The liftoff distance is between 1 to 5 millimeters. It has a control unit for tracking and distance plus a very cool microprocessor and it is a 72 megahertz turbo core version to 32-bit ARM-based microprocessor. Neat. Plus it comes with 576 KB of onboard memory as well as zero angle snapping and precision and this beautiful 1.8 meter braided cable with a super cool end on it that says Rocket and the name of the mouse tie-on. Now you're probably wondering, how big is this mouse? Well, I have medium-sized hands and it fits my hand perfectly. This mouse is very similar to Logitech's old G5 or the G400S 500S. So if you like those mice, you will love this one. It also has this kind of anti-sweat material on it. Feels very, very nice to the touch. But the actual dimension on this is 135 millimeters long, is 78 millimeters wide, and 40 millimeters high. Now, not only does this mouse fit my hand like a glove, it has some weight to it. It's 126 grams, but there is no weight system, so you can't increase or decrease the weight on it. Sometimes, you know, they have a system at the bottom that they implement meant to add or remove weights, but you don't have it unfortunately on this mouse. Now Rocket has this easy shift technology and what that basically does is double up buttons. It's an on the fly button duplicator. It is right here. So let's just say this button has a function normally and then you press the easy shift button and that button again, it has another function. So all of the buttons you can double up. Let's go through them. You've got two on the left, two on the top left, Two on the top right, and a little fin here has two buttons, side to side, scroll wheel has a button, rubber on the top, and it is illuminated. Now you're probably wondering what this thing is. Let me zoom in and then I'll explain it. This they're calling the accelerator thumb paddle, and it is indeed a panel that has a single axis and goes up or down. Perfect for tilting left and right. You could pitch up and down, increase or decrease throttle, and you could use it, of course, for a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Oh, and I almost forgot. Here's the left click and right click buttons. The overall look, styling, and build quality on this is exceptional. Plus, it comes with a 16.8 multicolor illumination system, so you can customize it how you like. If you have a color preference, no problem, because you can select that one. They have it illuminated all along the perimeter, and as I mentioned before, on the scroll wheel. At the bottom you have a couple of very slippery feet and that amazing 8000 DPI laser sensor. So let's go through the software which you'll need to download from their website and it includes the software itself, drivers, and any firmware update that you might need. And it will update the firmware right off the top if it needs to be updated. That's pretty cool. You can do it in one shot. So let's get to it. Within the main control area you've got sensitivity options you can adjust it 
like so. Vertical scroll speed, you can adjust that. One page at a time if you want to adjust it that way. As well, you can adjust the horizontal tilt speed. You got a DPI switcher, which is basically, you know, you've got five different DPI settings that you can have. You could choose which one's 800, 1600, 32, 64, or 82, or, you know, you can customize it if you want to. You can also adjust the double click speed, and you can test it here. A little spot to test it. At the bottom, you've got create a profile, load a profile, save a profile, edit a profile, and the five different profiles that you can basically select on the fly. Bottom right, OK, apply and cancel. Bottom left, you can choose the language. Within button assignment, well, you assign the buttons, side buttons, top buttons. Pretty neat. Plus, you got a macro manager with an advanced control. You can adjust the advanced sensitivity, the X, Y axis, enable advanced sensitivity. You've got this tracking control unit, which you can have on or off. This will basically adjust the laser for the surface that you have. Lift off distance here, you can set to low, medium, or high. You can also calibrate that. Polling rate, you can adjust anywhere from 125 hertz all the way up to 1000 hertz. Sound effect, and basically what this will do is sound and effect if the DPI is changed. You can set the volume of that sound. As well, you can define the Windows pointer speed calibrate the paddle and you can reset everything if you want to this is the color control area and you can change it to like I said there's 16.8 million colors to choose from so you can change it to whatever you like pretty much and you can choose to change the scroll wheel color or this perimeter color that goes around the bottom so you can change those independently if you want to as well lighting effect you can have all kinds of different lighting effects right here and you can adjust the color flow effect as well as the effect speed now this is the Rocket achievement display, how many clicks and all that kind of stuff, plus update and support. This is an outstanding gaming mouse. It looks amazing, excellent build quality, lots of buttons, intuitive software, a lighting system that you can customize, plus it has a fantastic 8000 DPI laser sensor and a long 1.8 meter braided cable. Note though that it doesn't have any kind of weight system, so it is what it is in the sense of weight. That is 126 grams, so not bad. It feels good, not too light, it's not too heavy, somewhere in the middle. Plus the size for me, I have medium sized hands and it fits me perfectly. Now while the fin switch thumb paddle plus the unique button placements at the top are super unique, they can be a little bit cumbersome at first, but once you get used to it, well, you'll be fragging like a champ. Overall, this product rocks and it certainly deserves the 100% kick-ass award. Until next time, take care.